Welcome to the math range. This is our first question in our topic of 3D coordinate systems. And we have, suppose you start at the origin, move along the x-axis a distance of four units in the positive direction, and then move downward a distance of three units. What are the, are the coordinates of your position? So the question doesn't specify, but we're gonna need to use a, a 3D coordinate plane. So we can start by drawing that, all the three axes. We have the z-axis. y-axis and x-axis. So we can start labeling these y, x, and z and their negative direction counterparts. So negative x, negative y, negative z. So one thing I want to delineate is the difference between 2D coordinates and 3D coordinates. So in 2D, you have your X coordinate, your Y coordinate. 3Ds are almost the same, but since you have one more axis, you're gonna have one more variable. So you're gonna have three, so you're gonna have X, Y, and Z. So that's gonna help us, we need to find the coordinates of the position. All right, so let's start by graphing this so we have a better idea of the coordinates. So we start at the origin which is here, zero, zero, zero. Same thing with the uh, x, y plane. So we, belong, we move along the x axis a distance of four units in the positive direction. So the positive direction is this, going this way. So let's move four units. It's kind of like arbitrary. So I didn't really label, label the tick marks, but one, two, three, four. So let's say this is four units. And then we need to move downwards a distance of three units. And downwards in 3D coordinate plane corresponds to the Z negative Z axis. If you go up, that's the positive Z axis. So we can go down. And so you could do it like this, like a one, two, three, and you get every point here but sometimes that's hard to visualize and can get pretty complicated if you, if you have a lot of points. So what sometimes I like doing is going down this axis, one, two, three. And then if you draw parallel lines to each axis, you can get a better idea of where this point lies. So here's our point. So we need to find the coordinates of the position. So since we started with the x, since x is the first one, we can start with the x. And we moved four units in the positive direction, which corresponds to four. And then for the y-axis, or y-direction, we didn't, we didn't move at all in the y-direction. We stayed in the xz plane. So y is going to be zero. And then for Z, we move down three. So it's gonna be negative three, four, zero, negative three. So to help uh, visualize this even more and to understand why Y is zero, I'm gonna show you a an another way to view this problem. So we have our 3D coordinate system here. This is a program called uh, GeoGebra. This is their 3D calculator. We have the x-axis, y-axis, z-axis. And we're basically gonna do the same thing. You start at the origin, you move four units along the x direction, four along the z, and then you have this point here, four, zero, negative three. And we can see that y is zero because when we, if we position it like this, so you have the Z, Y, so Z, Y plane, you can see that, the, uh, if I can position this correctly, the Y zero here corresponds to this point. So then you have four, zero, negative three. And I'll give you guys a little sneak peek on uh, some later topics uh, called vectors. 
I won't I won't go into them right now, but I just want to show you that what we just did actually does create a vector from the origin. Something cool.